Good morning, everybody. It is time for angel card readings. Now, some of you may know I used to do these pretty often, and then I just kind of got away from it. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It's one of those weird, huh, why did I do that? So anyway, um, I put out a question. I only got one person asking a question, then I had somebody else call me and ask a question. So this is for the, I wonder why that's turned off. Let's see what that button is. Oh, I have no idea. Um, this is for the um, Linda who asked, if, is she on the right path? Um, she's on it, trying to find her way, is she, and she's on a spiritual healing path. So let's ask the cards if Linda is on her right way. Um, the cards I'm using today is the Archangel Power cards. I love these bad boys. I love that lion. I love everything about the deck. So we shuffled it up, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, 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 and then I just pull a card. Now, sometimes if you if you do readings on your own, sometimes cards will literally jump out. They'll just fall on the floor, or they'll you know fall on your desk. And those are more those are kind of the angels saying hello. So, Linda, your card is King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Use your resources wisely. So this is saying, yes, your plans are going the way you want them to go. It could be the doubt that you're having that is kind of repelling the universe. It's kind of telling the universe, I'm not sure, so don't send people my way. You have to really stand in your power. You have to kind of put, uh, what's the expression, your flag in the sand. You really have to declare what it is you want to do and do it. Because the universe will sense you if you're being, sense being mamby pamby or, oh, I'm not sure, I don't know if this is my right path. So decide what you want to do and then commit to it for six months. You know, I always tell people, once you make a decision that this is what my business is, this is my niche, and you're comfortable with that niche, don't change for six months because it takes time to get momentum. It takes time for your clients or the people that are following you to see. Um, sometimes you need people to fall off your Facebook page that were following you for another reason and you've kind of made a course correction. So stick with it until, um, you know, really till Christmas and see how it goes. I think you're on the right path, Linda, I really do. I just think you're self-doubt. I mean, I, I kind of know you, so I know you're a natural salesperson. So you may not just be selling it. You may be kind of holding back. You know, I find, and, and I speak from experience because this is me as well, I find that when people go from corporate, and I know you've kind of been on a corporate path, to the spiritual path, they're more hesitant. Because they've so closely identified with that corporate persona, that, you know, button down, back in the day, suit now, you know, tote bag and power woman, that it's hard for them to turn around to their, to their world and say, I've always been corporate, but now I'm spiritual. Because really, when you were corporate, you were spiritual. You just kind of kept it tucked away. So just stand in your power. Stand in what you believe in. Fly. Trust yourself and fly. You're on the right path. Okay? And then I, I had somebody else call. Oh, dropped a card. Power card. Oh, two. And this person, um, why is she fearful of the unknown? Which, before I even look at the cards, everybody fears stuff. It's your ego. Your ego's whole goal, the whole reason we have the ego is to keep you in a box. Your ego would be happy if you were in a room with four walls, no windows, no doors, and you never left because its role is to keep you safe. And that's why as children we get so many childhood stories that kind of impact us because our parents' goal was to keep us safe. So don't, you know, don't go out in the woods because bad things happen in the woods which in my case that was true but you know don't do this and that because I need to protect you so they would tell stories I remember we used to Mrs. Eddie Byrne she lived on the fence beside us I mean I lived back east we had big backyards and we would play flashlight tag every summer night loved flashlight tag and about once a week she would come out and tell us there's a murderer on the loose there's a robber on the loose I am not lying to you this woman did it about once a week and we'd get scared and go in and finally, you know, went on for really a long time. I hate to admit it, but you know, but keep in mind, she also went away for the summer, but um, it went on for a long time. And finally my parents were like, you know, why do you guys all of a sudden stop? Well, this is going on. And they're like, that's just Mrs. Eddie Burns. She doesn't like you running through your, her, her yard. You guys play flashlight tag, you jump over the fence and you run through her yard. 
Now we never hid in her yard because she didn't have good hiding spots. So we never hid there, but we would run through it. And because she was our neighbor, she could hear us laughing and joking and screaming and yada, yada, yada. And plus we had a pool in the backyard, so we'd go swimming late at night. And so that was her way of clearing the decks. So, you know, taking that thing, it, it, it made an innate fear in some people. Well, if I'm out here, bad things must be out here. So it's just kind of how your ego protects you. So when you're fearful of the unknown, it's your ego. Your ego likes you right where you're at. Doesn't want you to take chances. Because if you take chances, it's afraid it won't work. Okay, so for the person I'm doing this reading for, two cards jumped out. Oh, both in the suit of Michael. So let's see, I can't remember what Michael, I mean, I know who Michael is and what he represents. Let's look at that. Um, so let me just take a quick peek here. Raphael, Gabrielle. Michael is um, the human intelligence. Our minds cause us to worry. The suit is our ability to think our way out of challenges and to soar. So your two is um, it will be it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. And I know who this is for, and I know this is exactly what you're doing. I know you don't want to retire. I get that, you know, because retirement gets bored, gets boring. But you have multi talents and multi passions. So there's stuff that you could do, you know, but you know, if you're, if you're ready to go, go. And also you worry unnecessarily, focus your thoughts on the outcome you want, release your regret and you think. So whatever change you're thinking of making, and clearly you're thinking of something because I don't know you as being a person that is fearful, you're pretty headstrong and pretty set in what you wanna do. So the path is clear. Go ahead and do what you wanna do. So I think that's it. If you asked a question while I was on the phone, I would have missed it. Note to myself, when I do card readings, keep my laptop on. Um, otherwise, um, or you can write questions down and I'll pop back in later and answer the questions that are, I'm sure, stacking up. Um, talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.